So hi and welcome back and it, it, this is going to be a bit of a tutorial on how I convert a color negative without using Lightroom or Negative Lab Pro. I, I, it's not their good software because they're brilliant pieces of software. However, they're way beyond my budget. Um, oh, just so you know, if you want to skip out this bit of me just talking, I'll put a time on the screen now to go to to watch the rest of the video so you can see me actually just um, making this into a, into a positive. So. So what's happening is I am thinking about starting to develop my own color film. And I needed to know that I could actually convert my negatives into positives without having to spend money on things like Negative Lab Pro and also Lightroom because I can't I can't really justify them for the amount of stuff that I'll be doing. So if you're doing it a lot or if you're doing it for other people, um, yeah, I, I don't I don't do that. But but I needed to do something so it looks like I'm going to start doing my developing my own color negatives and then just literally picking up the ones I wanted now this actual photograph was taken in about 1999 something like that it was it was it was probably 1998 1999 1998 1999 time and um, I was I was booked to do a photo show shoot of this young lad called Ben and I thought I need to check that I can actually do this and you'll I think you'll be really be surprised just how well these come up so what I do is I use Affinity Photo now bearing in mind Affinity Photo is extremely uh, um, good value for money as far as I'm concerned it does all the things I need to do I don't need Photoshop to do what I need to do so there's no point in me having that or Lightroom or you know um, and uh, all those other sorts of plugins and I had to try and work out my own way of doing these uh, negatives and and I've seen some really elaborate ways of doing them on on YouTube and I thought no I need to do a tutorial myself because they're quite they're not they're going to quite, kind of going the wrong way about around doing this the ones I've seen and um, they tend to use really ropey negatives. I mean, I was like, like, why would you use that as an example? So this is a color negative medium format of Konica VX film, probably the most underrated color film that I, I've ever used. And I didn't start using it until quite late. Um, it's got ki killer skin tones and killer whites, and it is just a fantastic film. And I wish I'd have used it more often back in the day so the first thing you got to do is bring up your adjustments layer and sometimes in this it doesn't actually show so you have to go to your windows and then put on tick your adjustments um, box there and it'll appear within where the layers are and different things like that so it's really really straightforward this nothing much to it at all so basically we go down to curves like so and we literally just invert it now you can you can do that doing like an inversion with the other tool but I'm going to show you this way and uh, literally you dial it down oh no it's gone all black <laughs> and then you dial it back up again and you've got something that resembles a positive and it looks all milky and it doesn't look right but trust me what I'm going to do now makes sense I've seen people use the curve to try and change things and, and pull this and pull that you don't need to do all that all you need to do is go into your levels bring up your default and then we're going to look at each of the different colors um, the red the green and the blue we're not going to look at the alpha there is an alpha channel as well but we don't really need to touch that so you go for your master and then select your red and literally all you do is you pull up and I know the, um, the colors are going to go really really weird for a bit the different uh, levels so they match where the histogram starts and finishes so it starts here and finishes there so the red the green and then the blue and I, I know it's really 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 weird at the moment but when you do the blue watch what happens and then I perhaps need to pull this one slightly a bit further to get the there you go about there um, it's slightly bright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the master and then pull the black point up a bit look at that look at that I'm just like <laughs> it's 
looks amazing. To me, it looks amazing anyway. I don't know what you think. But anyway, there you go. That's how I do it. That's how simple it is to convert a negative. You only need to change the curves. Then you go through go to the level settings and change the different colors that are the, the red, the green, and the blue, and then just adjust the master. You may need to do some saturation depending on the type of film you've scanned and how you've scanned the, f the film. Um, and you just have to play around with those and fill around with those and you'll get something um, that resembles what you took originally. Anyway, I hope you really like that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.